will continue to deteriorate as we head into tonight and tomorrow. Dan, we continue to see the smoke pushing into North Carolina and it's going to be thickening up as well. And because of that, an air quality alert, a code red is now in place starting at midnight tonight through midnight tomorrow night. And what this means is it's unhealthy for everyone to be outside. That's the big difference between a code red air quality alert and then the code orange air quality alert that we have in place today and in our eastern counties tomorrow. A code orange means that it's unhealthy for those that are sensitive to respiratory ailments to be outside. But tomorrow, everyone from the triangle points north and west will want to stay inside, limit the time outside if possible due to the haze and smoke out there. It's really remarkable when you look at the map. These wildfires are burning over a thousand miles away from North Carolina, but the jet stream winds are steering the smoke all the way through the east coast down into North Carolina. And by eight o'clock tonight, the smoke really begins to thicken up. You can see we're in the orange and the red here will be that way through tomorrow morning and tomorrow during the day. We expect to see some pretty thick smoke. We have rain in the forecast tomorrow, though, and this is actually interesting. Some of the light rain that we see early in the day could actually help to lower some of that smoke from high up in the atmosphere to the surface, and that would make conditions even worse down here at the surface on Earth. And that's one of the reasons why we've been upgraded to a code red in some locations. With that, we're also tracking the potential for some storms in our southern counties, a level one risk in our southern counties both today and tomorrow. Tomorrow, a little greater threat. I'll have an hour by hour look at the rain timeline tomorrow coming up. Chelsea Donovan is standing by. She's been out at the air quality monitoring station here in the Triangle, learning about some of the readings that they've been gathering today. Chelsea, what have you found out? Absolutely, Kat. Behind me, as you can see, this is one of the many air quality monitoring stations in our state, and it's actually here where they test and they monitor and they observe all of this smoke and the particles that are coming from those wildfires that Kat mentioned all the way a thousand miles away from Canada. These particles I learned are smaller than the width of human hair, but they can certainly aggravate folks that have those lung and respiratory conditions. Environmental specialist Carrie Terry is making her daily checks. That first one is the big particles. This air quality station, one of the largest in the state, is taking in whatever is drifting in the air, including stuff from a thousand miles away, and then sensing an air quality action day for you to be aware of. It will pick up smoke. Smoke from the Canadian wildfires is causing the Raleigh skyline to look a bit hazy and fuzzy. We always come out here and like take a picture every time we come out here, so we notice a little bit of a difference in the quality. But a little haze amongst the sunshine isn't stopping these lone picnickers at Dick's Park. But they were surprised to know the smoke impacting their skyline pictures came from so far away. So the fact that it's down here in Raleigh, North Carolina is kind of crazy. But for most of us, it's not harmful. But we should mention, as Kat said, under that code orange in which we're in right now, it's important for the young and the elderly to make sure that they're limiting that time outside, especially if they have those conditions. But as she mentioned, under code red, that some of us will be in in our viewing area tomorrow. Just be mindful and limit that time outdoors. Good advice. Chelsea Donovan live in Raleigh. Thanks, Chelsea.